An unprecedented offseason gives way to as anticipated a regular season as we've had in many years. It may look, feel, and sound a bit different, but college football is back, and we can't wait to bring it to you next. Tonight's game is presented by Air Comfort Solutions. Make the winning call today. The quest for a fourth consecutive college football playoff trip starts tonight for the fifth-ranked Oklahoma Sooners. The Missouri State Bears of the FCS Missouri Valley Conference prowl into the stadium known as the Palace on the Prairie. We welcome you upstairs to the booth, socially distant, but alongside former Sooner co-offensive coordinator Chuck Long, I'm Chad McKee. Spencer Rattler will be the fourth opening game starting quarterback in as many seasons for the Sooners. The previous three, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts, two Heisman wins and a Heisman runner-up. So what's expected of this redshirt freshman tonight? Well, big shoes to fill for Spencer Rattler, but I'm excited to watch him play because he was a five-star player coming out of high school. Lincoln Riley offered him as a freshman in high school, so they built up a long relationship already. The only thing is he hasn't taken a significant snap in two years, has not been hit at all. So that's the mental part of the game for Spencer Rattler, but I'm excited for his career to unfold starting tonight. But don't expect greatness all the time you got to give him some, some time for uh, some room to grow we'll see if there's greatness for alex grinch's sooner defense huge improvement in his first season how did they get that accomplished well they're, they're not a read and react defense at the line of scrimmage they want to penetrate the line of scrimmage get in the backfield and figure it out two key stats here tackles for loss they went from 79 to 17th in the country in one year and third down conversion defense 118 to 17 chad those are great significant jumps there and Alex Grinch has him on the right track. Alex Grinch wants to see turnovers improved in 2020. We'll see if that happens tonight. Gaylord Family Memorial Stadium about 25% full, but fans do not care because it's football time in Oklahoma. We'll kick off the season coming up next. In rushing, and they averaged 240 yards a game last year, so they like to run it. Fair catch, signaled for, but not taken. Yeah, it is. We'll be taken right outside the goal line. So the Bears will start under their first-year head coach, Bobby Petrino. Familiar to fans all around college football for some great offenses, including 2016 when he coached the Heisman winner, Lamar Jackson, at Louisville. You see his rate, uh, record there, 119.56. As a head coach, this is the first time in Missouri State, hired in January. Solid head football coach, very successful. And he has a redshirt freshman at quarterback, Jaden Johnson, transfer from Southern Miss. Quick handoff, belted behind the line of scrimmage is Kellen Porter. Brian Asamoa greeted him rudely. You see that speed D of Alex Grinch in the backfield in the first play for a tackle for loss. That's, that was a key last year in their improvement. Starting off really well tonight with a tackle for loss already. Jaden Johnson is our mercy key player for Missouri State. Long relationship with Bobby Petrino. How is that going to help this combination? Second and 12. Johnson keeps it sprinting over the right side. He'll gain about four. Asamoa leading the charge again from his linebacker spot. A little quarterback run game there, Chad, but developed in that relationship with quarterback. He's known him a long time, and you mentioned that. That will help in this building of this team and this offense built around Jaden Johnson, knowing him, knowing Bobby Petrino that long. Big third and seven. Opening drive of the game for Missouri State. Lee Wyatt's left. Johnson a quick drop. He'll swing it out. Out of the reach of Porter coming out of the backfield. And the Bears will have to punt on their opening drive. Nice coverage downfield by the Oklahoma secondary. That was his third in his outlet receiver he had to go to. He's looking downfield. Nobody's open. Has to swing it out there. Didn't make the connection, but that would have been a... They, they wouldn't have gotten the first down on that anyway. Little nerves in the early going. It would be understandable. Yeah, even with, even with uh, you know, 25,000 people there, it's still pretty loud out there. You know, the OU faithful, they can get loud no matter who's in the stadium. So, yeah, some nerves already. 
Rand Burkett back to kick it away on fourth and seven. And Charleston Rambo, the return man for the Sooners. Rambo ranges right across the 40. Solid wall and finally contained, dropped at his 42 yard line. Tyler Wiltz up to make the stop. So Spencer Rattler's debut after an 11 yard return. And he is our. Riverwind key player for the Sooners tonight. Take us through the playbook for Spencer Rattler. Well, he can make all the throws, and he's athletic. Uh, number one player out of high school a couple years ago. He just hasn't taken a hit yet, and he hasn't had a snap in two years, a significant snap in two years. Here he is under center for the first time as the starting quarterback for Oklahoma, and you know the tradition they've had here. And he has Marcus Major in the backfield with him. Jeremiah Hall. Slot left. Rattlers. First play is a screen pass. Theo Weiss slips a tackle. Gets whacked just shy of midfield. Weiss will get seven. Zach Sanders makes the play for the Bears. I like Lincoln Riley's call there. I, when I was a quarterback coach, I always wanted a short throw to get confidence and get the, get the quarterback rolling, and that's exactly what he did. Let's get a short throw, a little screen pass here. Good block out in front. Get a nice significant gain. Build a little confidence early. Good play call by Lincoln Riley. Charleston Rambo, wide right, wide left is Weiss, and Jeremiah Hall, the H-back, slot right. Rattler fakes the handoff across the middle. Stogner reaches out and grabs it, rumbling down to the 35-yard line before he's banged out of bounds. Titus Wall makes the stop, a gain of 16. Well, Missouri State was just playing man coverage on Stogner, and he just beat his man over the, over the middle of the field there. Nice little play-action fake. Stood in the pocket. Nice hands, because that was pretty good coverage. Nice hands by Stogner. That's Gronk in crimson, Chuck. 6'6", <laughs> 262, sophomore. Sooners pick up. First down on this opening drive. Rattler keeps it. He's elusive. Slashing toward the 25. And Spencer Rattler, his opening carry, produces a first down for the Sooners. Titus Wall stops him. A little quarterback run game again. He's reading that linebacker. Here he is reading that defensive end. And he just has some nifty moves and makes it happen. And then he's smart. Oh, he gets down. He gets the tackle down. But anyway, this is good ball carrying by Spencer Rattler. Nice, nice niftiness. From the Missouri State 25. Fakes the inside give. Plenty of time. Chased out of the pocket toward the goal line. A sliding catch is made by Jeremiah Hall. It'll be a gain of 24 Sooners at first and goal. Play action. He had Jeremiah Hall early uh, after the fake. He did not see him. He's not looking that way. Should be looking to his left to Jeremiah Hall, but he, he ends up finding him. Buys a little time. Nice pass protection by the offensive line. Brings him back. Watch him bring him back towards the line of scrimmage so Hall can make the catch. Seth McGowan is the deep setback out of the eye. You like the look of that eye, don't you, Chuck? I do like that eye formation. Reminds me a little Adrian Peterson action back in the day. Sooners trying to punch in on the opening drive. McGowan clear up the middle behind the center. Creed Humphrey. Touchdown Oklahoma. The Sooners strike first. Just right up the middle for Seth McGowan. Just a simple guard pull. A little trap play up there. Power play, they call it in football. That was a nice opening drive. Good play calling by Lincoln Riley to keep his quarterback on track. Simple throws. Touchdown drive. Build some confidence. Five plays, 58 yards, 2 minutes and 13 seconds. Gabe Burkich, perfect in his career on point after tries. And the announcer jinx does not work. It never does. Sooners on top. Lincoln Riley's team punches in the opening drive of this game. It's 7-0 Oklahoma. A touchdown run by the freshman Seth McGowan. Sooners score on their opening drive, and they do so quickly. Now Missouri State trying to find a quick answer. Drive will start at the 25-yard line. Penalty flag on the play. Referee tonight is David Alvarez. Looks like an offside on the kickoff for Oklahoma. Knowing where that penalty flag is. 
Offside. Kicking team, number 45, five-yard penalty, first down, Missouri State. That'll help the Bears cause the drive will start out at the 30-yard line. So an opening touchdown run for Seth McGowan. Now Jaden Johnson back out with the offense. Able to escape the pocket. He's got very good feet. Knocked out of bounds as he darts out to the 35-yard line. Brian Asamoa leading the Sooner pursuit again. Yeah, just a little naked bootleg here. Trying to get him out, get on the edge here. He actually had somebody down the field, didn't want to throw it. Got the, got the nice little gain. The OU defensive line right now, Chad, is doing a lot of stemming and shifting right before the snap to confuse this Missouri State offensive line. And they're timing out just perfectly. Kevon Latulis, the lone setback behind James Johnson on second and five. Latulis chopped down. Pat Fields, the free safety, makes the play for the Sooners. And he's he's their best leader on defense. The captain, the leader. And you see how active he is and how aggressive he is and how he makes that play and recognizes it quick. You see the experience there of Pat Fields. Honorable mention all Big 12 a season ago. He's elevated his level of play. Third and five for the Bears on their second drive of the night. A bunch of three receivers. Porter motions out of the backfield. Johnson fires a tad bit high. It skims the fingertips of Lorenzo Thomas. And another fourth down for Missouri State. Yeah, they went to an empty backfield to try to get some mismatches and get them in man coverage, which OU was in man coverage, and they just ran some quick slants, all slants, and couldn't connect. And, and Jaden Johnson needs to get that ball down. He threw it too high. He's got a little nerves going right now. He needs to settle down and get a completion. Marvin Mims is back to return this punt. Grant Burkett, redshirt freshman putter from Missouri State. Mims has some space, darts through a hole. Mims bangs off a man and finally spun down at the 43-yard line. Anthony Payne, the tackle for Missouri State. The Sooners, great field position, trying to take a two-touchdown lead in the season opener in Norman. Marvin Mims, exciting young freshman, gets his hands on the football for the first time as a Sooner. I think we're all excited that football is back. Sooners out to a 7-0 lead. Spencer Rattler directing a touchdown drive and throwing to a big group of talented receivers. Who might be the next guy at wide receiver? CT has more on that. Seaver's spot is wide open with Theo Weiss leading the way at the X and Charles Rambo starting at the Z. But Lincoln Riley told us there are lots of quality players in the meeting room and the competition for playing time and slotting on the depth chart has been fierce. And if you add to the mix there with some Juco transfers, all you, Chad. Marvin Mims, full send. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Perhaps Marvin Mims will be that guy. 58-yard strike down the middle from Spencer Rattler. And this is where Lincoln Riley's really good and an accomplished play caller. He is really good at the bomb play action. That was a play action pass. He wants to take four or five of those a game. And you mentioned all those great receivers, Chad and CT. Here's one of the great ones in the next one with Marvin Mims. Owns all the Texas high school records for yards. Yeah, you've uh, got my attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was just a simple post pattern right off the play action well executed Burkett's tax on the point after 14 nothing Sooners there's the shot here's the play action by Rattler keeping that free safety in the middle of on the left hand side nice throw down the middle good route by Marvin Mims good eyes by Rattler though to keep that safety out of the middle so you can make this play and as I mentioned this is the next great wide receiver at Oklahoma you just saw it right there. True freshman. Like old Rattler getting down there and getting the ball fired up in the end zone. 
So how about the start? Rattler, four for 405 yards and a touchdown, Chuck. Pick it up right where they left off last year. Did your debut at the collegiate level go this well? Uh, no. My debut was at Nebraska, and they had a great team. We had a young team, and that was probably the worst game of my life. <laughs> through interceptions, through the ball in the dirt, got sacked, fumbled the ball. My grandmother, after the game, said, Chuck, you don't have to play this game anymore if you don't want to. <laughs> it's going to be a little different phone call with Spencer Rattler after the game. That's right. Scoring Drive is brought to you by your best in Oklahoma Ford dealers. One play, 58 yards, a strike. Rattler had 81 yards passing in limited time a season ago. He's got 105 already on two drives tonight. Oklahoma under Lincoln Riley, averaging nearly eight yards per play since he took over as offensive coordinator. Best in the country, slowing down none so far tonight. It's incredible, Chad, this statistic. I mean, you dream about getting this as a coordinator. He's done it every single year. Penalty flag. That will not help the Bears to start this drive. Yeah, they're way out of rhythm right now, and credit the OU defense. Try to snap. False start. Offense. Number 16. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. Well, you can imagine some opening game jitters. That's DeMaurier Fick. Has made 22 straight starts, and he's a local guy. He's from Oklahoma City, Westmore High School. Yeah, he's their most consistent, best player on the team, and you don't expect that out of a... Yeah, they just, they're all out of whack right now. Multiple players, five yards penalty. Still first down. They're just not used to, to Johnson's cadence right now. Uh, you know, new quarterback, new new team. Just right now out of sync. Now it's up to Johnson to get him back into sync. And on a first and 20. This is Porter. Asamoah bangs him down. The initial contact made that by Delarian Turner Yell. Yeah, this is this defensive front is just penetrating this line of scrimmage. They have nowhere to go. And they're they're coming off the ball quicker than, than the offensive line. That's been the big difference right now. You see Turner Yell just aggressive to the football, good tackle. And that's what they really have to improve on is the tackling, and that will create the turnovers as the year goes on. Second and 18 from the 18. Johnson fires quickly to the right. Contact as the ball arrived. DeMaurier Vick, the intended receiver out there. And Oklahoma brought a corner blitz there from the edge. And Trey Brown, and that was a hot throw because they didn't have enough to protect. And Johnson's trying to throw hot, and the receiver didn't see it. So third and 18 now for Missouri State. Oklahoma's going to play coverage here. Johnson has to scoot. Trapped, floats it up. A dangerous throw, nearly intercepted by Asamoah. Asamoah has been the man of the series right now. And Great defensive pressure there, and that, like you said, that was an errant throw by Johnson. You can't throw. Here he is in the pocket, getting pressure. He just throws it up for grabs here. That's a no-no. It's Nick Bonito and Isaiah Thomas pressuring Jaden Johnson. And Nick Bonito's their pass rusher. We need to keep an eye on him all day long, but he's their best pass rusher, and they want to get him loose to the quarterback. But that was defensive pressure causing that. Three drives and three punts for Missouri State. Mims had the touchdown catch moments ago. Is the return man. Had a fair catch made at his own 44-yard line. Quick start for the Sooners, a 14-0 lead.
Six minutes in, 14 nothing Sooners. They'll try to go three for three on scoring drives so far tonight. Let's take a look at the Air Comfort Solutions marquee matchup. Now, the Sooners starting a true freshman at left tackle in Anton Harrison. Can potentially Missouri State take advantage of that, Chuck? Well, they have a good pass rusher in Isaiah Sales, and they bring in Kevin Ellis as well. And it's unbelievable that they have they have a true they have a freshman quarterback, redshirt freshman quarterback, and in and, and Rattler, and then they have a true freshman left tackle, as you mentioned in Harrison. That really doesn't happen very often. That is the confidence they have in a true freshman Anton Harrison to protect the blind side of their special quarterback and he earned the job and he's he's got a nice matchup tonight isaiah sales of missouri state's their best rusher and so far so good for oklahoma bill beatenbow's offensive line one of the if not the best in the country they won the joe moore award for best offensive line in 2018. marcus major in the backfield with rattler major slashing Scoots out near the 45, close to a first down. In fact, looks like he'll have it. Tyler Wiltz, who's a junior college transfer from Independence Community College, made the stop. Yeah, just an outside zone play, outside zone play, and he almost broke that tackle, and he was gone for about 20, 25 more. But nice up. You mentioned that offensive line by, by Coach Beatenbow. They've done a great job in his tenure here, and they are really coming off the ball. It all starts with their center, Creed Humphrey, the man in the middle. Second and less than a yard, Major evades a tackler and is able to plow his way for a first down. Anthony Payne stopped him. I like what Lincoln Riley's doing, his play calling. He took the shot for the touchdown before, now he's going to eat up some clock with some run game and, and get that run game established. Well, they go rather quickly here. Fake handoff, pass out to the flat. Theo Howard, transfer from UCLA, graduate transfer. There's your speed ball offense there. They don't want to take a lot of time at the line of scrimmage, trying to tire out that defense of Missouri State. And Rattler did a nice job. He's looking down the field. He went out to the side, and that was his outlet receiver. He's really scanning the field well tonight. Sooners have a pair of transfers at wide receiver. Howard is one. Obi Obialo is the other. And I think the Sooners a little quick <laughs> off the line of scrimmage there. So I'll start. Offense, number 14, five-yard penalty. Still first down. Charleston Rambo, yeah, too Ram fast out of the gate. Rambo a little quick, and he's their veteran. I mean, all you have to do is watch the ball. You, you don't ever listen to the quarterback when you're a wide receiver. Just watch the ball. Receivers should never have an offside. If the stadium's 25% full. You can't blame it on crowd noise. That's right. This is McGowan in the backfield. He scored the first touchdown of the night. Second and nine from the 49. Here's McGowan. Back up the middle he goes. Tripped up as he bounces across the 45. They're, Kevin Ellis to stop. Yeah, they're really stretching that defensive line. That's another outside zone. And what they're doing is creating space by running to the outside. And it's man-on-man -man blocking up front. And they all that back does is hit that first gap that he sees outside the tackle. Third and about a yard. Five first downs for the Sooners so far. Under seven minutes left in this first period. McGowan tries to escape as a flag flies in. He can't get out of trouble. Farron Manaleleua makes the stop. That was one of the few blitzes that Missouri State has shown all night. They tried to sit back and play man coverage. That didn't work. Now they're bringing a little Holy. heat. Offense, number 77, 10-yard penalty. Still third down. Derek Swenson. Here's your right tackle, and he's on the pole, and you see his left hand grabbing the jersey there. You got to keep those hands inside. That was a little trap, little counter play, counter action up front, which is a, a bean bow specialty. Pulling the guard and tackle. This time McGowan is slot left. He comes out of the backfield. It's empty for Rattler. Third and 11 from the 47. Plenty of time for the freshman. Wide open Rambo inside the five. The Sooners drawing first blood with Charleston Rambo. The strike from Rattler. 
53 yards, 20 to nothing. And there's your veteran receiver, Charleston Rambo. Coming back after the jumping off size. Good job of looking off by Rattler to move that secondary. Great offensive line protection. Love that protection. Throws a strike on a skinny post down the middle of the Rambo. Charleston Rambo, preseason all big 12, 43 catches, five touchdowns a season ago. Gabe Burkich hammers another one through. And with 6-16 left in the first, it is all Oklahoma. 21-0 Sooners. Spencer Rattler, perfect. Two touchdown passes, two deep balls, and it's all Oklahoma. Recent success, five consecutive Big 12 titles, four college football playoff appearances, including three straight Heisman winners, Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray. Jalen Hurts, the runner-up a season ago. Bob Stoops is a couple of boots down from us. What a smooth transition it's been from him to Lincoln Riley, Chuck. Yeah, Bob set, the, set, the, set it all in motion back in 1999. And then, he, and then Lincoln Riley hired Lincoln as his offensive coordinator. It was a great hire. Everybody kind of questioned it at the time because he didn't have a lot of experience. But, man, they knew something that everybody else didn't. And look what's happened now with Lincoln as head coach. Great transition, very smooth, and they've had great success under Lincoln Riley. Latulis returned that one. Jaden Davis ended that one quickly. 21 to nothing, Oklahoma. Sooners nearly 200 yards of total offense. Missouri State struggling to get it going. As you might figure, Jaden Johnson. He is the first freshman to start at quarterback for the Bears since 2011. This was a highly recruited guy. We'll get into more of the backstory with he and Bobby Petrino as he tries to dig the Bears out of a hole. Yeah, they're just struggling right now with his cadence. False start. Offense number 55, five yard penalty. Still first down. So Jaden Johnson and Bobby Petrino became very familiar with one another. Petrino recruited him to Louisville, and it was all set. But Petrino left Louisville. Jaden Johnson went to Southern Miss, and now they're reunited. And Johnson is tackled by Brendan Radley Hiles. Buki shooting through for the sack. And Radley Hiles is a great story. He's their nickelback. You know, he was suspended in the bowl game, and he apologized one by one to each of his defensive players and his teammates. He's just reading his story in the paper. He's really matured since that game last year, and it's good to see him on the field making a play. Highly recruited guy, five-star recruit. A world of potential. Trying to live up to that. Not much going there on second and 21. That defensive line just penetrating every single play. There's nowhere to go for the running back. They're putting pressure on the quarterback and Johnson. This is just a ISO play, old school ISO play, trying to lead that fullback on the linebacker and it just went nowhere. Isaiah Thomas getting the penetration. And it's third and 21. The Bears from their own four. I always like the four vertical pass here just to try to get the ball down the field. Johnson steps into his own end zone. Drops it deep up the left side. Batted away by Woody Washington. Trying to hit DeMaurier Vick running up the sideline. Yeah, Woody Washington had an interception there. And Vick really broke it up. He was, he was poised just to pick that ball off. And Johnson just threw it up. Too much air on the ball. It's actually a nice play by Vic just trying to get his hands on it so there's no interception. And they've been pinned down here all, all game, nowhere to go. And here they are punting again, and Oklahoma's going to have a great field position. Dangerous punt coming here from Missouri State, but the Sooners really don't bring much pressure. Mims drifts back into his own end of the field. To the edge. Mims tackled at the Missouri State 37 yard line. Home openers 
have been hugely successful at Gaylord Family Oklahoma Memorial Stadium. Perfect. 14-0 in their last 14 here. So far, so good, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> well, they may be headed 15-0, and 0, Chad. That's right. And you see the points per game as well and the yards. and uh, They've had their way on the home openers. And you want to schedule that way, too. You want to schedule where... You know, it's a good chance you're going to win the game, and especially with a young quarterback, and you have some youth on this offense and this entire football team. Uh, you want one of those openers you can get off on a good, to a good start, get your way, and get some confidence. McGowan joins Rattler in the backfield again. Four wideouts. Rattler swing it out to McGowan, and he's got some space. Dashing through the seam. Full send. Seth McGowan, touchdown Oklahoma, his second of the night. Wow, the true freshman on just a little swing pass with some big old lineman out in front. And he just makes it go. And secondary is nowhere to be found. They, they lost their angles on it. But that's just a simple swing screen right there with an offensive lineman in front. Nice play call again by Lincoln Riley. I love the way he's mixing things up right now between the run and pass, short and long as well with the passing game. And that's two one-play drives tonight for the Sooners. Under four and a half left in the opening period. 28-0 Oklahoma. Seth McGowan's second score of the night. Had a touchdown run to get the scoring started. Had a 27-yard reception from Spencer Rattler. Yeah, well over 200 yards already. You mentioned there's still four minutes to go. So Rattler, 7 of 7, 201 yards, three touchdowns. Yeah, he looks like a veteran already, Chad. I mean, he's, <laughs> if you didn't know any better, didn't look at the roster and how old he was, he looks like a, a veteran quarterback. Great poise. He scans the field well. I like the way he's looking off the safeties and throwing the other way. He has good play action. And he's sitting in the pocket delivering strikes. Our OU Medicine leaderboard, Lincoln Riley. 36 wins in his first three seasons as Oklahoma head coach. That is the most since 1894. That's incredible. That's a long time. <laughs> He's off and running. As you mentioned, the smooth transition from Bob Stoops to Lincoln Riley. What a great transition. And Joe Castiglione uh, in year 23 as, as his terrific tenure here as athletic director saw that in Lincoln Riley and hired him and quickly did it before somebody else got him when you talk to Lincoln Riley Chuck you sometimes get the feeling you're talking to an older guy and that's not to say that youth and youthful guys cannot be in powerful positions such as this but he's almost wise and mature beyond his years he is and and obviously that was part of him being a five-star quarterback coming out of high school he was the number one recruit but you, get, you have to have some maturity at that position. And if you're a number one recruit, you got to handle all those expectations. You know the way social media is today. I mean, he had to handle all of that, and he's off and running, and a great start so far. Porter is in the backfield. Johnson fakes the handoff to him and then slips down. Delarian Turner Yell shoots through to bring that to a halt. Yeah, Turner Yell just run into the football. This, I'm really impressed. You know, you want, you want to get seven, eight, nine guys around the ball. Uh, if you're only getting like four to five to six, then your defense is not running the ball. But right now, Oklahoma's defense is getting seven to nine guys around that football every time. Loss of a yard. Second and 11. Pressure comes up the middle, and Johnson cannot escape it. Brian Meade right up the seam. He and Deshaun White getting in there. The Sooners with another sack. Yeah, that's the tackle for loss. That's the sack that Alice Grinch wants, and that's where they really improved from year uh, before he got here. Now he's on his way, but that was a nice blitz he dialed up. And right now, Jaden Johnson is, I don't know, can't read any coverage right now. He just doesn't have any vision just because of the pressure up front in his face. That's the fourth tackle for loss for Alex Grinch's Sooner defense so far. Third and 19. Johnson pressured across the middle too high. 
intended for Myron Mason. Yeah, he's really pressing as a quarterback. Whenever you see a quarterback throwing the ball high, and he's had a few tonight, just pressing. He's not relaxed right now. He needs to relax his body before he throws it. He's really tight when he throws it, and that ball is, is, is sailing on him. But a lot of that's the pressure of the defense. I mean, <laughs> I, I've been there, done that. When that defense <laughs> is all over you and up front, you can't see anything down the field. Mims is averaging 17 yards on his two returns. Burkett puts it in the air. Mims retreats. Starts forward across midfield. Look out. Marvin Mims trying to get to the edge. Able to hurdle one tackler. And finally, his threat is quelled at the 28-yard line. Special teams is doing well so far tonight for Oklahoma. And that'll be a key in their season this year. It always is. And this is Marvin Mims just up the middle and getting to the outside where there's less defenders. The special teams is always a key for championship runs, and they have a dangerous return in, in Mims. And will give you a great field position in those tight games when you need it. 34-yard return. Spencer Rattler, not only perfect, but he has thrown seven passes to seven different receivers. And that's the balance of Lincoln Riley. I love his balance run to pass, but also the error rate is all about spreading it out to your receivers. This is Major dancing around the right side. He's able to roll down to the 22-yard line. Isaiah Sales makes the stop. Let's check in down on the field with C.T. Steckel. So Rattler is no stranger to the bright lights of fame, having starred for years on that Netflix series QB1 while at Pinnacle High School there in his hometown of Phoenix. And Lincoln Riley just calls him a gifted thrower, a natural leader, a guy who loves to compete. Said during the pandemic, they'd spend up to eight hours a week just simply watching film. And as a result, now he has this ability to read coverages and put his team in good plays. He has definitely improved. And guys, number seven has that ultimate belief in himself. You know, you have to have it playing quarterback here at OU. The guys who have preceded him certainly had that belief. I thought his, the best thing for, for Spencer Rattler was being behind Jalen Hurts last year. Jalen came from Alabama. You know the Nick Saban. Uh, you know regime and what he's done with quarterbacks and players and then he came here to Oklahoma and Lincoln Riley brought him to an, an, another level But be, being behind a, a guy like Jalen Hurts really helped Spencer Rattler just watching his habits and uh, And how he performed as a pro and, and that has really helped Rattler on third and seven Rattler From the Missouri State 25 Watching that play clock get down to three. He'll lob it up Rambo got grabbed and it squirts between his hands a near touchdown. And that was a great throw by Rattler. That should have been caught by Rambo. That was just an inside fade route. Man coverage. Nice in the pot. Guy right in his face. He puts it right on the outside shoulder. That's a great throw right there. That's, Rambo needs to come up with that one. First incompletion of the night. And a field goal try here for Gabe Burkich. Gabe was perfect last year. No, it's not going to be Gabe Burkage. Nope. It is Steven Johnson with this field goal try. And it splits the uprights. A 42-yard field goal. Sooners on top, 31-0 with a minute 22 left. A lot of debuts tonight, including a new kicker. Yeah, he did. Good hold. So far, so good in the scoring department for Oklahoma. It's been perfect. You see the smile on the Steve Johnson face. It's a perfect night to kick kick field goals, right? Yeah, there's no, yeah. no wind. <laughs> hey, we're going to send you out there for the first time, but it's going to be 82 degrees with no wind. Yeah, no wind. The Sooners perfect on scoring drives. That's the first time they haven't put it into the end zone and probably should have had one there. 31 to nothing with a minute 22 left in the opening period. Yeah, we're talking about all, all Oklahoma's offense, but their defense has held Missouri State to minus four yards total offense. 
minus four so far. Been a rough night for uh, Jaden Johnson and a bunch so far. They got to get something going, just build a little confidence here. Latulis and Carter are back deep. This one sails into the middle of the end zone and out to the 25 yard line. Our Coca Cola key player for the Sooners is Nick Bonito. He is a guy who can get to the quarterback, and we've seen him do it here tonight, John. Yeah, he had three and a half sacks last year off of eight starts, and I, I really like what this young man does on the field here. He's their be one of their best pass rushers. They're going to put him in that rush linebacker position, but he has great acceleration off the, off the ball. Look for him to have a big year. Bears run out of a tight eye. Three step drop. That pass sails well beyond Lorenzo Thomas, the intended receiver. Yeah, they only sent three receivers out in the route because they're, they're not able to protect and sent five out. So they, they, they used some protection there, kept some guys in, and sent three receivers out just to try to get keep, keep the heat off that quarterback. Second and 10 from the 25. Porter joins Jaden Johnson in the backfield. Minus four yards offense from Missouri State to this point. Porter banged in the backfield and sent down by Isaiah Thomas. We've noticed him a lot tonight so far. Yeah, Isaiah Thomas has been in the backfield all night long. They just can't block him. Trying to run an inside zone, and here's Isaiah Thomas having a here's your tackle for loss again. And again, that's where they made huge improvement. This is a defense that wants to penetrate, get the get in the backfield, and figure out where the ball carrier is from there. Johnson, quick drop, pressured, harassed, but that pass is caught by Thomas. He circles out to the 30-yard line. It's a gain of eight. Still fourth and five for Missouri State. Yeah, not a first down throw, but a good throw by Johnson. He, he was really good in the pocket there, hasn't showed some confidence, and got a completion on just a simple curl route. And some, sometimes those things can help you as a quarterback. Hey, I finally got I finally got a completion here against a good defense. Mims back to return the punt. Time winding out, and it looks like we will end this period before the punt. 31-0. Sooner offense in high gear, and Alex Grinch's defense moving downhill. The season opener for the Sooners, a rousing success through the first 15 minutes from the Palace on the Prairie. Sooners on top 31 nothing. We get set for the second quarter in the season opener. Several Sooners on their way to all Big 12 honors after tonight, but these guys were selected in the preseason. Well deserved. Two offensive linemen in Humphrey and Ely. Gabe Burkett is not out there. The All American candidate kicker. Neither is Ronnie Perkins. And Charleston Rambo, well, we've seen him. Yeah, great group. It all starts with Creed Humphrey, their center. He's, he makes this offense go and he gets all the calls. That one just got out and it sails out of bounds. There will be players out for COVID related reasons not made specific to us. So we don't know if somebody is not out there. We're not going to speculate, Chuck. We just know that it's just the day that we live in in college football and in all of sports. Yeah, this is just the day we live in. We all have to adjust, uh, announcers and coaches. and You know, just the challenge of a head coach right now to, to run a program with COVID. You have 150-plus guys in your program, including managers and trainers and families and everything else. And it's, you know, as Lincoln Riley said, he, he holds his breath every three times a week when the tests come in. I just couldn't imagine uh, being managing this this year, and he's done, he's done a great job tonight, obviously. Bobby Petrino and everybody at Missouri State has done such a great job of adhering to the COVID testing protocols just to make this game happen. Rattler cannot escape. More of a coverage sack there. The ball squirting free at the end was Rattler down. I think they've ruled him down. 
at the 42. Let's let the officials figure it out, though. Isaiah Sales pressure. The ball coming loose. Second down. So his forward progress had been stopped. It'll be second and 11. This shows his toughness, and this is one good protection, but he didn't have any, anybody open down the field. And this is where he's got to learn to get down a little bit, not take all those hits. He'll learn in time, though, Chad. Get, get down and squeeze that football. Mm -hmm. Oh, that ball was coming out. Would you want to challenge that maybe? Now, plays are reviewed up in the booth, but a coach can challenge it. Doesn't look like Missouri State will. Rattler, plenty of time. Theo Weiss up the sideline. Drifts out of bounds near the Missouri State 20-yard line. Theo Weiss is a nice size target, 6'3", 192. This is just a fade route. Great throw by Rattler, keeping it to the outside shoulder, away from the nearest defender. Excellent job by Rattler, just put a little touch to the outside there, away from the defender. To give Theo Weiss a chance to catch the ball with a significant gain. From the Bears' 20-yard line. Major in the backfield. Motion man is Marvin Mims. Rattler out of the backfield. Sooners just breaking out the entire playbook tonight. Yeah, just a little bootleg play. Simple flat uh, pass there. Those are, those are ones you put in day one. And they're easy completions, and if they're not there, you just run the football as a quarterback. Good decision by Rattler. Mikey Henderson as we're in the red zone, presented by Delta Dental. Sooners haven't been in the red zone much. They've scored from a long way out. This is Major dancing over the right side, dragging a couple of bodies inside the five. Down to the two, a gain of five. I like his pad level there. He stays low to the ground. He's 224 pounds and has some power in his uh, lower body, dragging some Missouri State defenders there. But I like the way he sticks his nose in there and goes north and south when it's not there and not trying to get danced to the outside. I like his power in, inside. Austin Sogner is in the slot left. Second and goal Sooners. I like the way they're moving guys around in the formation to cause confusion. Rattler, Stogner off his hands. That was a dart. That was a bullet. You saw the arm strength of Spencer Rattler there. Hey, he's got to come up with the catch, though. Stogner's got to come up with that. This is a little play action, quick slant. Hey, that's a nice <laughs> throw. He's got a. Two hands on the ball, you got to catch it, right, Chad? Yeah, let's be honest. Yeah. He's had two drops for yeah. touchdown. Yeah, that's a nice throw. Or he'd be perfect. He's and, 10 of 12. And that's a common red zone play, especially inside the 10-yard line. Just fake little play action slant behind the linebacker. Got to come up with that, Stogner. Third and goal. McGowan met in the backfield, twisted to a halt for a loss. <laughs> Yeah, that was the best defensive play they've had all game. They had a bunch of guys in the ball carrier. They're trying to run a sweep to McGowden, just simple power sweep. And they just missed the edge block there. And you got you to gotta seal the edge first get the, get, just to get it started, get it going. They couldn't do that, but that was the best defensive play Missouri State's had. Mikey Miles, one of the safeties. A freshman from Kansas City. They are excited about him. So another field goal try for Steven Johnson. Connected from 42 yards a few moments ago. This will be a 23-yard attempt. Right down the middle. 34-0 Oklahoma. Just underway in the second period of the season opener in Norman. Oklahoma perfect tonight. Johnson, his kickoff tumbles inside the five. It's going to be returned. His whistles blow, sort through things. Keyshawn Parker, he was the junior college national defensive player of the year at linebacker last year. Bobby Petrino has moved him to a fullback position. That happens quite a bit in college football. They 
They're at one position in high school or junior college, and they move to another. That happens quite a bit. Number 28, single for a fair catch. It did not catch the ball, so the ball is dead where the other player caught the ball at the six-yard line. First down. Well, that's part of the learning process on special teams, isn't it, Chuck? Yeah, just different rules. You can fair catch and get out to the 25. And they just had some communication confusion there. And now they're deep, deep into the hole again. Field position has not been good for Missouri State. Drive starts from the six. Porter motions out of the backfield. Bears minus eight total yards. Johnson shows his escapability, loses the ball out of bounds. It squirts free. And they'll rule it at the 12 yard line. Yeah, the, the, the Oklahoma secondary is, is, and Alex Grinch has really created confusion for Jaden Johnson. He's right now having trouble reading coverages. The ball was fumbled forward, replaced to where he fumbled the ball. Second down. And the reason why is the defense is showing one thing at, at before the snap and then shifting to another coverage after the snap to really create confusion for him. Therefore, he's just trying to scramble around and make a play. Ball marked where Johnson lost control of it at a second and seven from the eight. Johnson. Fakes the handoff to Latulis, dances out across the 10-yard line to the 11. Asamoa makes another stop. Oklahoma lost Kenneth Murray to the San Diego Chargers in the NFL draft. So there was room for tackles and playing time at linebacker. Asamoah is making the most of it. Yes, he is. He's having quite a night. Uh, very reacting very well, reading things well, and reading his keys up front. But he's been all over the field. Five tackles for Asamoah so far. And a third and five from the 10. Johnson, heavy pressure into the flat and dropped immediately is Latulis. Delarian Turner Yell. This guy was a good player last year. Second on the team in tackles. Five and a half tackles for loss. Junior from Hempstead, Texas. Really like the way this entire defense is tackling tonight. And there's no second efforts. There's no broken tackles and that's and the reason I mentioned that it's really hard to practice tackling now I mean I being a defensive coordinator and, and teaching tackling and putting tackling in uh, in practice is very hard to do because you don't do it anymore you try to keep guys healthy and they're really tackling well tonight on, on limited practice time and tackling fair catch signal for Mims will take it at his own 48 yard line Sooners have forced six punts in six Missouri State offensive series so far tonight, resulting in a 34-0 lead. Bob Stoops watching from his booth. A couple of doors down from us, watching the Sooners with a 34-0 lead off to a great start. Here to watch his son, Drake, and all of these Sooners, like their All-American center, Creed Humphrey. CT has more on him. Yeah, guys, Creed Humphrey had a tough decision to make this past spring, and he went with his gut. The redshirt junior is a top contender for the Outland Trophy this season and was recognized as a preseason All-American and first-team All-Big 12 selection. He's a projected first-round pick in the NFL, but he chose to return to OU. He grew up in Shawnee. He knows about leaving a legacy here in Norman. And Lincoln Riley told us the center has improved in many areas this offseason. He's matured and grown as a leader, and as you alluded to, Chuck, the Sooners' offense goes through him. Yeah, not too many centers are first-round draft picks, and he has a chance to be one. And it, it all starts with him. Here he is. McGowan racing up the right seam, bouncing inside the Missouri State 30. And down to the 26, Connor Ashley stopped him. The key to center is getting everybody on the same page. He makes all the calls up front. That was just a simple sweet play to the outside. Really not didn't have to do much here, but just seal off the backside. But he just, he's a special young man, and, and when you're a young quarterback, you want a veteran center in front of you. It helps so much because he can take more off a of Rattler's plate and put it on Creed's plate as far as there he is pointing everything out. Where's the Mike linebacker? He's telling the offensive line what to do right now. Rattler from the 29. Great little hesitation move, and see the couple of 
passes to Mikey Henderson, one of the tight end H-backs. Zach Sanders to stop it. What a great position of strength this is for the Sooners. Yeah, there he is, this up front, just a little pass protection, but he has excellent feet, excellent hand placement. He's, he's well coached, obviously, by Coach uh, Beanbow. But he's also a tireless worker. There he is, just directing the offense, just telling everybody who to block. So Spencer Rattler can just play football. McGowan and Henderson shift spots alongside Rattler. This is McGowan racing to the edge, grabbed by the short tail, and twisted down out of bounds. Tyler Wiltz, the tackle. Yeah, here he is. Just, like, dude, it's just walling off one side and looking, yeah. <laughs> throwing some guys around a little bit. Oh, Creed. You see the strength, just one hand throwing a defender down to the ground. He's a great wrestler as well. Yeah, and you like wrestlers, and that's a good point, Chad. You want to you want to recruit linemen that wrestle because they're really good with their hands that way. Rattler. Out of the pocket left as a flag flies in. He stopped for a loss. But we talked about Isaiah Sales, transfer from Mesa Community College. He'll make the sack. Let's unsort the penalty. Looks like a hold against the Sooners. Holding. Offense, number 59. That penalty is declined. Second down. They'll take the sack. Ely, the guilty part. And Ely was a second team All Big 12 player last year. 6'6, 327 pounds. Now, this, this offensive line is huge. They're all over 300 pounds. That's a good job by, by Creed Humphrey. And, and what you want to have with your center is can he block the nose one on one without any help? And Creed Humphrey's that type of center. He can do a lot of one on one blocks, which really expands your offensive line play without getting any help from your guards. Sooners back out to the Bears 20 on second and 15. Rattler, a little bit low, tad underthrown, but caught by Rambo. Zach Sanders makes the tackle. Yeah, here's just a little flat pattern. Again, you got to keep it out in front a little bit more. That was an underthrown ball by Spencer Rattler. Just keeps the ball to the outside a little bit more and you get a nice gain out of it. Under six minutes left in our opening half. It's been all Oklahoma. They've scored on every drive so far tonight. A pair of field goals by Steven Johnson. And Seth McGowan has a touchdown run and a touchdown reception. Third and ten. Rambo wide open. To the goal line and in. Second score of the night for Charleston Rambo. Here we are, just a little crossing route, a little pick play against man coverage, and they just they that's a mismatch. They just can't keep up with Charleston Rambo. Nice keeping that receiver in stride by Rattler. And that's what you want in a quarterback is yards after the catch. And Rattler made that happen, and Rambo finished it off. And you saw the life of a center all the way down with Creed Humphrey work, working his way down the field. Point after try. Good. 41-0. Oklahoma. Charleston Rambo. Three catches, 73 yards, and a pair of touchdowns. Very dominant performance, 41 to nothing, Oklahoma, 537 left. Scoreboard shows it, as does our AT&T game summary. Yeah, they've done it on all three phases tonight, defense, offense, and special teams. Everything going right for the Oklahoma Sooners. Johnson's kickoff. A little shorter this time, but fair caught. It'll come out to the 25. That game summary we were talking about, total yards 339 to 5. 
<laughs> Passing yards, 279 to eight in favor of the Sooners. Yeah, and look at look what they're doing defensively. You know, minus three yards rushing for Missouri State. And every defensive coordinator wants to come in and stop the run. You go to every clinic in the country and you listen to them speak, their first goal is to stop the run, and that's exactly what they're doing. They have them in the negative tonight. Charleston Rambo, 73 receiving yards, two touchdowns. Trying to start that drive from the 20. Those are old rules. Old rule. That was old school. Kellen Porter, the lone setback. Johnson rumbling. There's a man open across the 40. Stepping out of bounds with a first down. That's Lorenzo Thomas. This is a guy that's been a very productive player, 6'5", 200 pounds, essentially a four-year starter. Best play they've had all night. This is just a little bootleg play, misdirection, and they just had a little corner route that outflanked the corner of, uh, uh, of Oklahoma, but just a simple get on the edge with the quarterback. If the receiver's not open, then run the ball. Always a good play to get it started. First first down of the night for the Bears, but the handoff goes nowhere. Porter shut down. LaRon Stokes and Perrion Winfrey. There's big Perrion Winfrey, Iowa Western Junior College, number one JUCO defensive tackle available. And Alex Grinch said, I think we hit on this guy. Yeah, and they have. And he, as you mentioned, the number one junior college recruit, 6'3", 297 pounds. And they needed some big guys in the middle. Neville Gallimore off to the Dallas Cowboys off that Sooner defensive line. This play has been whistled to a halt before it even got started. Prior to snap, ball start, offense, number nine, five-yard penalty. Still second down. Yeah, Jordan Murray, the wide receiver, jumping off sides. And again, receivers should never jump. All you have to do is watch the ball. Don't even listen to the cadence. That's, that's what drives coaches crazy when wide receivers jump. Fifth penalty against the Bears. Back him up to the 40. Johnson, pretty good time this time. And across the middle, Demorie Vick, but wrestled down quickly, shy of the 45-yard line. And closing quickly, David Ogwebu. It was only a five-yard pass for Johnson, but that was, the, that was the one time that he looked one way to move that defense and then threw the other way for, for a completion. At least you have it. It's third and long, but it's not third next to long. Give yourself a chance. But this Oklahoma defense is flying around tonight. They're, they're showing their speed, and they are flying around. And they're hiding coverages very well after the snap. Third down, 11. Pressure off the edge. Johnson avoids it. Scampers across midfield, but then gets wrangled at the 48 by Aguebu again. No again, penalty flag. Again, at the snap, the, uh, the Oklahoma defense is changing their coverage and confusing Johnson. He can't get the ball down the field. Oh, that was close. Lassoed him. Lassoed him. Close to a horse collar there, but he kept his hand in front on his chest. Fourth and three, Missouri State will go for it yeah, from the center well. 48. Nothing to lose, right? Nothing to lose. Just go for every fourth down if you have good field position. Johnson picks up the first down with a strike to Jordan Murray. Murray darts down to the Sooner 37-yard line. Jeremiah Cradell stopped him there. He finally set his feet. He had enough time to set his feet and oh. throw that strike. Incomplete. Ball popped out at the end. Chuck Sooners will take over, leading 41 to nothing. So far for the Sooners tonight, it has been shake, rattle, and roll. Yeah, he's just been on the money all game. Shows the accuracy and the poise in the pocket. Perfect strike. And really shown all kinds of throws down the field to the sideline over the middle and on the move he has shown it all tonight why he was a special player coming out of high school from phoenix arizona 
13 of 15, 279 yards. He should be perfect. He's had two <laughs> touchdown passes dropped for he's had, touchdowns. He's had two drops. You're right, Chad. And, but man, he has been on the money, and you can't get much better than that tonight for Spencer Rattler in his debut. And he has one of the, if not the best, quarterback coach slash head coach, offensive coordinator in Lincoln Riley, one of the great play callers in, in the nation. And that really helps you as well. And it all starts up front with this offensive line is giving him great protection all night long. Mikey Henderson and Marcus Major in the backfield. This is Major. Broken arm tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Scoots down to the Missouri State 45-yard line where he's tackled by Tyler Wiltz. Great backs always make the first guy miss or break the first tackle. And that's exactly what Marcus Major did there. They had him stop, but he just broke that tackle. Got, got a man on the ground here. That's Tyrese Robinson. Redshirt junior from McKinney Boyd High School down in Texas. Important piece of that offensive line. Started 12 games a year ago. 6'3", 335-pound junior. Hopefully just a leg cramp. Here's your right guard in the picture. He's... Staying level with his pads, and here he usually is. Yeah, it looks like he just has a cr leg cramp. It's a beautiful night for football, but those linemen, you know, that it's hot for them. Yeah, it just looks like he's uh, just had a leg cramp there, and now he's getting off the field. They don't want to be helped off the field, those linemen. <laughs> Give him a Gatorade and uh, get some hydration, but looks like just a leg cramp. There's a lot of perspiration coming out of that body. Yeah. <laughs> it's still a warm night for the offensive line, let me tell you. You see the pod system that's in place, groups right. of two, four, six, and eight. University of Oklahoma, a great job of social distancing, keeping fans comfortable and safe. Excellent plan by Joe Castiglione, the athletic director here, and his people, his crew. A lot of planning went into this. On second and three, Major dances behind the line and finds a little burst out near the first down. Tyler Wilts the stop again. It'll be close. Yeah, I like the leg drive of Marcus Major, showing some great power up the middle, keeping his legs going on first contact to get that extra yard. It's Titus Wall, safety, senior from Plano, Texas, who is the injured bear. Yeah, he, he's their top returning tackler from a year ago. Really good player, veteran player. And whenever you're a new head coach uh, with Bobby Petrino, you want some veteran guys that you can count on to get you through the year. Look at the top right of your screen here. Looks like he just got tangled up. His leg just got tangled up on the tackle. And he is one. He's one of their best players on defense. Very active. Good size to him. He may be having an issue with his helmet. Yep, yeah, could be. Sooners face third and one from the Missouri State 43-yard line. Nearing the two-minute mark left to play in this opening half. Missouri State showing blitz off the edge. Looks like it confused Oklahoma. False start, offense, number 59, five-yard penalty, still third down. This Missouri State has elected to have the clock start on the snap. Yeah, you see him move his shoulder there. Left tackle there, moved his shoulder, and they called it. And, you know, this, this is a blowout for Oklahoma so far, but in a tight game, when you're third and one and you get a penalty like that, it, that that's a crucial penalty. 
It's not going to hurt him tonight, obviously, but Mick and Riley didn't like it. On third and six, a strike from Rattler produces another sooner first down. Marvin Mims circles back and picks it up. Yeah, Marvin Mims on a, on a curl route, inside curl route. And, and Rattler does a nice job of looking off to his left to move that linebacker out of the hole to help Marvin Mims on his route. And that's going to be a special combination for years to come, Chad. We were talking about uh, during commercial break that Rattler to Mims combo. Look for that in the future. Sooners have scored on all seven drives. Five have gotten into the end zone. Minute 30 left in the first half. First and 10. Sooners and Rattler from the 37. Major, not much there. It's been a good night for Tyler Wills. Yeah, Tyler Wills, nice play there. Just, they're really pressing the line of scrimmage and put more guys and more defenders on the line of scrimmage just to try to stop that run game. When, you, when you're having trouble stopping both the pass and the run game, just focus on one and stop it. Try to do that and then go from there. And they're, they, they're trying to stop that run game right now by loading up that line of scrimmage. That's eight tackles for Tyler Wills. Sooner second and 12, 39-yard line. A lot more zone coverage now for Missouri State. Started off in man, a lot more zone now. Whistles. Sooner's got a timeout there before the snap. So they stop the clock with 39 seconds remaining in this first half. And as we know in college football, the head coach can call the timeout from the sideline. Back in the day, Chad, when I was playing, I had to call the timeout. Sometimes you miss that clock. I love that rule that put it on the head coach now. Take it off the quarterback. The Big 12 electing to go with nine conference games. And schools have the ability to play one non-conference game. So... The difficult games on Oklahoma's schedule, as always, Red River rivalry. State Fair of Texas will be shut down for business, but the Cotton Bowl will be open for the Sooners and the Longhorns. And then Bedlam should be a good one. Oklahoma State picked second in the Big 12, and they've got some stars on that squad. Tylen Wallace and Chuba Hubbard, explosiveness. Yeah, Chuba Hubbard is really a special player running back. And you get that running game going on offense, then you're hard to stop. Sooners next two opponents, Kansas State and Iowa State, both lost their openers today. Jazz can be an interesting year in college football. <laughs> All of the moving pieces. A lot of moving pieces. McGowan, the lone setback with Rattler. Avoids a man in the backfield. Not much there as he tried to keep it himself. Stop at the 44. I.K. Ahimube. Yeah, makes that, the tackle. That was a long developing play for uh, Oklahoma. They were actually trying to get the ball way down the field instead of the first down. And uh, nobody opened. They covered it well. Good decision by Spencer Rattler. Not, not just throwing the ball up for grabs. He's making really good decisions tonight. Maybe the final play of this opening half for the Sooners. A third and 15 at the 42. Deep ball up the left side. Looking for Weiss near the goal line. Pretty good coverage down there from Jeremy Webb and no flag despite what the Sooner fans thought. Yeah, Spencer Rattler should have thrown it a little earlier. Get it up in here a little bit early and had a shot and get it a little bit higher. Ball was coming in too flat. It needs to come right down like you're throwing it into a bucket. See that ball needs to get way up in the air and throw a little bit early under through it. And the defender looks back at the ball. That's why they did not call the penalty. That's good defense right there. Solid play by the Virginia yep. Tech transfer, Jeremy Webb. Nice play by Webb. Good half for Oklahoma. It's the only thing that didn't go right. Sooners <laughs> didn't punch it in on the final drive, but they went seven for seven. Spencer Rattler, huge debut for this red shirt freshman for Oklahoma. Spencer Rattler, 14 of 17, 290 yards, four touchdown passes. Two and, of them to Charleston Rambo. And no interceptions. Uh, and that's big for a young quarterback. Shake, rattle, roll. It's the name of the game. Sooners up 41 to nothing. 
nearly 21 yards per completion in the opening half. <laughs> and that's the big play of, of Lincoln Riley's offense. He loves those. He led the country, country in 20-plus yards plays last year. Let's send it down to CT. Coach, great first half there by Spencer Rattler. Obviously, four touchdowns, 290 yards. How would you assess his performance? Spencer? Yeah. Good evening. Uh, Spencer's played well. Um, you know, I think he's been pretty calm. Our line's done a good job giving him time. His receivers made some plays down the field. So, uh, you know, happy the way he's trusted our system and, and made some nice throws. Seth McGowan, Marvin Mims, you have a couple freshmen, Coach. You've made some astounding plays today. How would you assess those two dynamic freshmen? Yeah, no, it's been good. Uh, it's fun to see those freshmen come out here, you know, the first time on the stage, make some big plays. So, uh, you know, got to play better here in the second half, especially there. Didn't finish very strong. Coach, thanks for the time. Thank you. Thanks. All right, thanks, CT. Thanks to Lincoln Riley for joining us before heading in to talk to his Sooners. Season opener, a route already for the Sooners and Spencer Rattler. 41 to nothing. Oklahoma leads in the halftime show coming up. Sooners lead it 41 nothing over the Bears of Missouri State, set for the second half kickoff. Sooners will receive dominant first half of offense for Oklahoma. Seven of their eight drives produced points. Only the drive that ended the half. Time ran out on them, but they might have scored again. Trey Brown and Charleston Rambo are the return men deep for the Sooners. Jose Pisano is the kicker for Missouri State. First time we've seen Jose Pisano tonight. Success for him. Sends it out of the back of the end zone. And CT during halftime was able to catch up with Missouri State head coach Bobby Petrino. Yeah, Chad, he was remarkably poised for his team being down so big at halftime. He said to me, look, I just want to see our guys play tough, hard-nosed football in the second half. Run to the football, tackle, make plays, give tremendous effort. I said, what about Jaden Johnson, your quarterback? How do you get him into a better rhythm and flow? And he said, look, I just want to make sure that he's reading the defense, slowing everything down, and just getting more reps. He said, we're here to get better. We're here to improve. I want to see effort. You guys, we'll see for the next 30 minutes what unfolds. All right, thank you, CT. Bobby Petrino likes the potential of this program, likes where Missouri State is located in Springfield. Access to fertile recruiting areas, junior colleges. New quarterback to start the second half, Tanner Mordecai. Fires one off into the flat for Marcus Major, who skips past a man and scoots out to the 29-yard line. Tyler Wilts another tackle. So here's Tanner Mordecai, Chuck. Yeah, Tanner's a good player. I mean, they had a nice uh, competition between he, he and Rattler, and Rattler obviously won the, won the job, but... A lot of good things from, uh, you know, you hear about with Tanner Mordecai, and they got him off to a good start with an easy throw, but saw him in pregame warm-up, and he can throw it. It was a nice delivery of the football. Major popped, taken down for a loss. Tyler Wiltz is having a night. Yeah, he's, he's all over the field for Bobby Petrino's defense, and uh, as you mentioned in the outset, they just want to see some clean tackling. But for, for a head coach... Uh, a new head coach, and there he is filling the hole nice there. For a new head coach, you just want to see how they compete in a game. You, you don't, he doesn't know anything about his guys yet in a game. You know, he just got there as a head coach, and this is forget about the score, as he mentioned, just wants to see guys play and evaluate them. And you get so much better the, the second week because you just know your guys so much better. Mordecai on third down, drifting to his right. Wide open is the UCLA transfer, Theo Howard. Theo Howard has been a 24-game starter in his career. As you mentioned from UCLA, here's a little crossing route. He builds up to it. He finds some space on the crossing routes against zone. you got to find space on the other side of the hash. And Tanner Mordecai bought some time, let him work to that open space, and threw a nice strike. Theo Howard played in only one game at UCLA a season ago. That was the matchup that the Sooners won over the Bruins out at the Rose Bowl. Marcus Major able to trudge his way for a couple of yards. I.K. Ahimube makes the play for Missouri State. It's nice to get, you know, brand new quarterbacks and, and Rattler and Mordecai into the game, your first game. That That is key. It's all playing out well for Oklahoma tonight because they have a huge lead. 
they're going to win the game, but you get a chance to get both quarterbacks on film in the game and get some experience because they need it. Tanner Mordecai was the primary backup to Jalen Hurts a season ago. And the Sooners expected they would have a quarterback derby, but Mordecai suffered a setback injury wise in preseason camp. And it was Rattler's job at that point. That's another strike from Tanner Mordecai. Ball comes out good for him. Right on the target to Marvin Mims. Yeah, and Marvin Mims is showing why he was the Texas all-time leading receiver in yardage out of, coming out of high school. Big things. He's the next big receiver here. He's going to have a great career. And, and Tanner Mordecai is, has a nice delivery. Keeps his elbow up high. He sets his feet well. Threw a nice strike on a play-action pass on a slant pattern. Hey, think about that, Mims. All-time single season and career receiving yardage leader in the state of Texas. They've had some guys come out of there. Yes, they sure have. That one, that stat jumped out at me, Chad. When I saw that, I go, oh, man, they've had some guys in Texas. Mordecai scampers around the right side for a yard. A little quarterback run game, just trying to get him on the edge there. And you don't want him taking hits early in the, early in the year. And both quarterbacks are taking a few pops tonight. But they're both tough guys are getting right back up from the hit. Major motions all the way out of the backfield to wide left. Mordecai. Flag flies in. Mordecai flies out of the pocket. Breaks through an arm tackle and dances out across the first down marker. But it may be all coming back. Yeah, he's probably coming back on the whole Oklahoma. Good coverage down the field by Missouri State. Holding. Holding. Offense, number 70, 10 yard penalty. Still second down. Bray Walker, Sooners with some of their backups on the offensive line. Yeah, Bray Walker here. Can't tackle him, nope. Can't bring him to the ground. Keep your hands inside. This Sooner offensive line is big. They all are around 300, average about 320. There's Bill Beat Bo. There's not one under 300 pounds across the board in the in the two deep. Creed Humphrey's the smallest <laughs> at 6'5", 320. Speeding out to the edge. Sooners get Seth McGowan the ball again. I like Seth McGowan, true freshman. And Oklahoma has never been afraid to put true freshmen out there. You know, it started with Bob Stoops, and he said, hey, if they're good enough, get them out there. Assistant coaches don't ever want to put freshmen out there. They want their veteran guys. But Bob started that here. He said, nope, get them out there. If they're good enough, get them some snaps. Who cares about the red shirt? Third down, 16, Mordecai. Escapes looking downfield, reaching up, grabbling, grabbing it is Charleston Rambo. He'll be well shy of the first down. Wilt suspends him out of bounds. Yeah, good coverage by Missouri State, just settling down defensively. Yeah, just playing a lot of zone coverage right now and, and making Oklahoma work in those soft zones and they're not getting open. Mordecai had to scramble around and didn't get enough for the first down. So the Sooners punt for the first time tonight, fourth down and nine. Punt? <laughs> What's that? What's that? Got to work on that, too. Reeves Munshaw will punt it away for the Sooners. 42-yard average a season ago for Munshaw. Flag flies. This one bounds into the end zone. I have to see what the flag is all about. You start getting young players into the game. You start getting more flags as the game goes. Because they just haven't been out there. They don't have the experience. It's like a false start. The referee needs to turn around and face the camera. Legal. <laughs> Hey, the formation. There you go. Kicking team, not enough men on the line of scrimmage. That penalty is declined. First down, Missouri State. 
So the Bears decline the penalty, and they will take over after the first Sooner punt of the night. 9.40 left in the third. Lincoln Riley Sooners up 41 up. Nearly perfect. 14 of 17 at four scores. I would say that's a pretty good night there, Chad. Mm. <laughs> it has to rank up there among all-time debuts as a Sooner quarterback. And you were on hand for several of those. Absolutely. And 14 to 17 is hard to do even against air in practice with no defense. And let's be honest, he had two touchdown passes dropped by a couple of his veteran guys. Right. Perfect night to throw the ball. No wind. It couldn't have worked out any better for Spencer Rattler to start his, de his debut as an Oklahoma quarterback. You know, you ask, what are the expectations? Well, to be as good as the previous guys. He does not shy away from those as we have a flag. Perrion Winfrey providing some pressure. Yeah, I like the way in, in reading about Spencer Rattler and his maturity. Personal foul, rough of the passer. Defense, number eight. Contact to the head, 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Yeah, he just put the, his hands up, up on the helmet. That's a no-no. Easy call. And get back to Rattler. Uh, I like what he said this week about pressure. He said, pressure is privilege. I've never heard a quarterback say that before. I thought it was well put by him. He didn't want to run from it. Doesn't want to shy away from it. I uh, just loved reading his quotes this week. And, and you could feel the maturity when you, when you read the article. Pressure is privilege. Bears from their own 45. This is Myron Mason. Not much there. Right side of that Sooner defense. John Michael Terry in there. We see Brian Osamoa. There's nowhere to go up front right now in the run game. They're struggling to, to run the ball with only four rushing yards on the night. Alex Grinch has watched this defense be stingy again tonight. Giving up 44 total yards. Johnson a little behind and bobbled, nearly intercepted by Trey Brown. Lorenzo Thomas, the intended receiver. Trey Brown's their best corner out there, veteran corner. Just a little stop route. Had a deflection in his hand. Oh, I had one. And it gets back to that turnover bug that they haven't been able to do. They, didn't, they weren't good at it last year. They, that's been an emphasis this year, trying to get some turnovers. You get a stern look from Alex Grinch when you ask about turnovers. said, I don't even want to say the number last year. Here's more pressure and a sack. Deshaun White gets through to stop Jaden Johnson. But they are doing that. A lot of tackle for loss tonight, some sacks. Just bring a lot of pressure. Cannot block this front right now. They showed a little blitz there. And Sean White, nice blitz right up the A gap. That's eight tackles for loss for Oklahoma tonight. That's a good night. Marvin Mims back deep to return this punt with under eight minutes left in the third quarter. Mims will let it go. Tumble out of bounds. Sooners a 41-0 lead. Their second drive of the second half coming up after the break. Flashback to some great performances. This is the Texas game. And DeMarco Murray, one of the all-time Sooner greats. A special running back to do everything. Run the ball, had great hands coming out of the backfield. Just a real special player. And loved watching him in college. Loved him with the Dallas Cowboys. He was their heart and soul. And there he is. And I thought it was a great hire for Lincoln Riley to hire DeMarco Murray as his running backs coach. 
Looks it, like he could still play, Chuck. Oh, yeah. And, and let me, let me, I was in coaching for 20 years, and let me tell you, it's hard to get into every living room, or in, in this case, maybe a Zoom meeting with with every running back across the country. It's hard to get in those living rooms. And with a, with a DeMarco Murray hire, it gives Lincoln Riley and this Sooner staff a chance at every single top running back in the country. The, he's going to get in those living rooms or on a Zoom meeting at least. And that's tough to do, but a guy like DeMarco Murray, that's a great hire there. He did it not only for his coaching, but really especially for his recruiting. All-time leading total yardage performer in the history of Oklahoma Sooner football is Theo Howard. Works his way back to the football, dropped out of bounds by Paris Jackson. Sooners pick up a first down. Nice back shoulder fade route. Mordecai puts it right. Watch him make that receiver turn to the outside away from the defender to make it an easy catch. Those are really hard to defend. That's why the quarter, that's why quarterbacks throw that ball a lot. That was a Peyton Manning specialty. He invented that, and everybody's copied it. Mordecai with a good throw. From the 44, Mordecai perfect 5 of 5 through the air. Sooners will keep it on the ground with McGowan. McGowan's the leading rusher for Oklahoma. He'll go over the 40-yard mark on the night with a touchdown on that scamper. Yeah, I like this freshman. I mean, he is he's a four-star athlete, four-star player coming out of high school, and he is showing it tonight. Kennedy Brooks no longer on the roster. No Ramondre Stevenson tonight. There's a strike that's caught by Howard. Knocked out of bounds. Another Sooner first down. And you're getting an idea of why Lincoln Riley and this coaching staff said it would have been a quarterback derby had Mordecai been healthy in the fall. Yeah, he's a nice release. Keeps that elbow up high. Comes out quick. He's a tad late on this throw on an out route. A good corner might uh, knock that ball out. But, man, he can really spin it just like uh, Rattler. They have two good quarterbacks. You, you can expect that under Lincoln Riley. He's recruited well there. He's... He's had proof with two Heisman Trophy winners and a runner-up already in three years. Will be enforced from the end of the play. First down. So that penalty tacked on at the Half end the of the play. Half the distance to the goal. Personal foul penalty. Paris Jackson. Yeah, and that's, that's what you don't want as a new coach. Keep your poise, guys. And Game's over with anyway. Just get out there and play. Don't need extra personal fouls or anything like that. But, again, you find out a lot about your team, about your players, and who can handle it and who can't. Theo Howard now leads everybody with five catches on the night. Here's McGowan. All fake to him. Henderson rumbling through the secondary and finally tripped up by Zach Sanders. How about these H-back tight end guys? So difficult to deal with. Yeah, they are, and they move around, and uh, Riley, Lincoln Riley moves them around in the formations. You never get a bead on them. You, you, you know, he's always looking for the matchup inside, and that's what you do with these H-backs and, and tight ends. And They just don't sit in one spot. They're all over the formation all night long, so hard to call your defenses and hard to get a matchup defensively to be able to cover them. Sooners in the red zone, presented by Delta Dental. Rattler, Major, trapped and taken down. A nice drive going here and uh, trying a little inside zone and create some movement up front, see what you have up front. You see Lincoln Riley does all the signaling, all the play calling. And, and head coaches are doing that more and more today because they want to control at least part of the game. Austin Stockner is back in. Look for that big target slot right. 6'6", 260 sophomore. Mordecai. Major. Grabbed from behind and wrestled down at the three. He's trying to eat some clock up here and try to get, again, get that run game going a little bit. Don't forget, Jalen Hurts was the leading rusher on this team last year. And usually you don't see a quarterback that's the leading rusher. And you may not get that kind of out of your quarterback this year, being the leading rusher, because Jalen was special with his feet. So you're going to have to depend on those running backs more. And that's what Lincoln Riley's trying to do, is just establish that run game. Sooners have run for 78 yards tonight. Third and goal, Mordecai looking, 
Finally firing. It's intercepted. Brought back out of the back of the end zone. It's Jeremy Webb, the Virginia Tech transfer, who picks off Mordecai in the end zone. And that is a no-no for a quarterback. Don't throw late. When you're that tight, don't throw late in the back of the end zone. If nothing's there, just throw it away and, and live for three points. You already had. I always talk quarterbacks this, Chad. You, you're in the red zone. You have three points. Okay, don't blow it. Throw the ball away if it's not there. The Bears create the first turnover of the night. Bobby Petrino's offense goes back out, trailing 41 nothing. October is going to be a challenging month for everybody in college football, but Oklahoma's on the road. David Alvarez getting a lot of camera time. Prior to the snap, false start, offense, number 67, half a to the goal, still first down. Seven penalties against the Bears tonight. 55 yards total. And a lot of them are pre-snap penalties before they get the ball rolling. That's Again, that drives coaches crazy. Those pre-snap penalties. Out of his own end zone. Johnson fires a little bit high, but that pass is pulled in and caught by Thomas. Yeah, I like the fact that he's keeping Johnson in the game. Everybody's thinking, well, put the next quarterback in. No, you, ne you need to give him some experience. Here's a little hitch route to the outside. Simple hitch route just to get a completion for him, but keep him in the game and get him some experience. Try to get him into a rhythm before the game's out. When Jake Johnson committed to Louisville, Bobby Petrino was the head coach there. He hung around the program a good deal after that and spent time with Lamar Jackson. Yeah, they became really good friends, and, and you know, Lamar, Heisman Trophy winner, he's a good guy to hang around and get to know and watch. This is Myron Mason, who led the Bears in rushing a year ago. Junior from Denton, Texas Geyer High School. Asamoah, another tackle. Yeah, he's 5'8", 200. He's a junior. He had a great season finale, finale against Indiana State with 94 yards. Low to the ground. and Again, the, the, the whole key on, on a blowout loss for, for a team is just try to get some rhythm, and consistency in your offense before the before the game's over. Try to leave the field on a positive going into the next game. That is their third first down of the night. And dumped off short. Two big collisions. And then finally, Armand Baker is taken down. That's a big physical guy, 6'4", 247. Yeah, that, that was a nice, it was just a little bootleg again, and they're trying to just get some easy throws for for Johnson, but man, that, he is big and strong. And he took some pop. You can hear the pops all the way up here. That's Demorie Vick, the local product, Oklahoma City Westmore High School. Yeah, a little extra incentive for him tonight. He wants to play well in front of the home crowd, in front of his family. Make handoff. No, nope, they will give it to Mason. He's dropped immediately. Ridden down by Nick Bonita. Yeah, that's Nick Bonita. And I, the, the solo tackles tonight by Oklahoma are good. I mean, they're getting eight. They're getting eight, nine guys to the ball. But when they're in the open field and there's one on one, they're, they're getting them down. Minute 20 left in a rapidly moving third period. Sooners on top, 41 nothing. Same score we had at halftime. Jaden Johnson going deep up the left sideline for Thomas, but intercepted. Delarian Turner yell. Headed back up the right sideline. Still going. Well, the Sooners get some pressure. Able to get to the quarterback in a 42-yard return at the end of it. Yeah, that was all defensive line pressure there. And it made Johnson just throw it up for grabs. Just a nice... Picture for Twitter. Did you get a shot of that? Yeah, a little Twitter pick there, but he just stood up for grabs. That was an easy center field fly ball and baseball catch there. That was easy for Turner Yell, but 
Here he is on the return, and you want to get those returns off those interceptions, especially one like that. But that's that's just Johnson making a mistake, throwing it up for grabs like that. Uh oh, Johnson out of bounds, involved with Deshaun White on the Sooner sideline. Yeah, just frustrating, frustrating night for Jaden Johnson. He'll have better nights, obviously. He's got to learn from that. But keep your poise as a quarterback and move on to the next play. Sooners take over the 21 yard line. What a slash there by McGowan. Breaks through a tackler. Muscles his way inside the 10 yard line. Yeah, I'm really impressed with McGowan. I mean, he's. He is, he is shifty. He is quick. Good young players out there getting some good time. We got somebody down. Stoppage for Tyler Wiltz. Time has expired on the third period. No scoring in that third period. Lincoln Riley and the Sooners comfortably ahead in the opener. Oklahoma employed the architectural firm Populous to determine the proper spacing in this COVID era. Sooners try to run a little sweep there. Yeah, a little jet sweep play that went nowhere. Good penetration by Missouri State. Getting up the field on the edge. Damon Smith into the game there. The red zone is brought to you by Delta Dental. Mordecai, second and goal from the 16. Pressured off the edge, fires into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. It is Finn Corwin on the reception. 5'8 redshirt freshman from Dallas Highland Park. What a special moment for him. What a special moment indeed. And this is a great throw by Tanner Mordecai. And you'd like to see this out of Tanner. He just threw the interception in the end zone. He comes back with a strike for a touchdown. Uh, you want to see that out of your quarterbacks. How, how are they after a big mistake? Paid off for Tanner. He stayed in there and made the play. And special moment for both of them. First touchdown pass of the night for Tanner Mordecai. 47 0. Sooners on top. Steven Johnson for the point after. First Sooner touchdown in the second half makes it 48 0. Just her way in the fourth quarter. Finn Corwin, a night he will never forget at the Palace on the Prairie. Finn Corwin, the touchdown reception. Getting hugs. There's Benny Wiley, Sooners director of performance and strength. Enjoying a good night. Tanner Mordecai with the touchdown pass. Three plays, 21 yards, our Ford scoring drive. And as you said, Chuck, Tanner Mordecai getting back in the saddle after throwing the interception. Yeah, you want to see that out of a quarterback. You know, makes, makes a critical mistake throwing the ball in the end zone for, for an interception. How do they come back from that is what you want to find out from your quarterback. And Tanner Mordecai came back in a great way, and Corwin's enjoying that as well. <laughs> Having a lot of fun. They'll talk about it forever. Oh, he is breaking it down. How it happened. <laughs> 14-20 left in this one. Sooners get their first touchdown of the second half. Spencer Rattler tonight replaced by Tanner Mordecai here in this second half. Boy, you want to have options. And Oklahoma at the quarterback position is going to have options for yeah. the foreseeable future. Yeah, they're both they're both really good players. They're more pocket passers than, than Jalen Hurts and the other guys, Mayfield and Kyler Murray. Those guys can move around so athletic. Both these quarterbacks are athletic, but not they're not quite in that vein. You'll see a lot more pocket passing out of those two guys. Jaden Johnson remains the quarterback. A reverse run here by the Bears. Streaking around the left side is Terrell Roberts. He's got some wheels. Darts out of bounds at midfield. It's good to see a little razzle dazzle. They should have used it earlier in the game. Those are things you try to get early in a game, especially on the road against a, a, a good team. But hey, 
They put it in there to have a little fun. Again, get some energy, get a drive for your team before you leave this game to give yourself some confidence. Twenty-six yards on that reverse play. The Bears continue to slug it out. Mason this time. When you're Missouri State, now's the time to work on different aspects of your game. You'd like to see some hurry-up offense, you know, just some tempo and hurry up. Something to change up the game and, and just work on work on things. Work on your two-minute drill. Work on things you don't normally get to, and now's the time to do those things. The 46-yard line is the deepest penetration in the Sooner field, in the Sooner end of the field tonight as Thomas adds to that. Ranges down to the 37-yard line. Joshua Eaton, Woody Washington combine on the tackle. Yeah, he throws a strike to Lorenzo Thomas. Uh, just a seven to eight yard hitch route, curl route. One of the better balls he's thrown all night. I feel maybe he's getting some confidence. It was a tough early start. Backed up in his own end of the field. Johnson rolls out. He'll dump it off short into the flat. Yeah, that was a naked that was a naked bootleg and, and Johnson took a shot. And he's down. Isaac Smith rumbling out of bounds. He hit his helmet on the on the turf. He could not brace himself coming down to the ground with his hand and hit all helmet on the turf. But man, that was a he got hit. There's the life of a quarterback. Little bootleg here. He just took a shot. Those hurt. I've had a few of those. David Aguebu for the Sooners back there with the pressure. It was a solid tackle or a solid hit. They work on Jaden Johnson. 12.39 left. Oklahoma football is brought to you by Ford. Visit your best in Oklahoma Ford dealers for the best deals on Ford's full line of vehicles. By OU Medicine, number one in the field. And by your Central Oklahoma Buick GMC dealers, we are professional grade. Selman Brothers there and a pair of Heisman Trophy winners prior to that, Steve Owens and Billy Vessels. You can see Jaden Johnson really shaken up over on the Missouri State sideline. First pass for Jake Van Dyne is a completed pass. Trey Norwood makes the stop on Jordan Murray. Look again. Yeah, here's just a little bootleg, and he just couldn't brace himself. He just hit his back of his head on that turf. And no, those hurt. Hope for the best for Jaden Johnson. Jake Van Dyne, freshman from Kansas City. Liberty North High School. The Bears pound away over the left side with Myron Mason. It's fun to see uh, Steve Owens, Billy Vessels, the Selman brothers. I, I grew up with those guys, Chad. I... I have a long history in my family of Oklahoma football. Both my parents are Oklahoma graduates. I have two sons that graduated from Oklahoma. My grandparents went to Oklahoma. And I grew up with all watching all those guys. Then came to coach some greats. Yep. Got a good Sam Bradford story I want to get to. Got a penalty flag here. False start. Offense, number 67, five-yard penalty. Still second down. So we saw Steve Owens and Billy Vessel, seven Heisman winners, including Sam Bradford, right. who you got out of Putnam City North High School up in Oklahoma City. And one of the reasons, because he was a great golfer. He's a great golfer. He's a four-sport athlete. and uh, But he was he's like a two- or three-star quarterback coming out of high school, one heavily recruited. And we were recruiting four- and five-star kids at that point in time in Oklahoma. It was a nice, nice little fade route. There should have been a little bit more air on there. But... He, uh, you know, Bob was always good about, uh, you know, listening to his coaches and when we recruit a kid. And, and he wasn't overly sold at the beginning, and neither was the staff. And I sold him on the fact that he was a scratch golfer coming out of high school. And when you're a scratch golfer, you think like a quarterback. It's very similar to quarterback mentality. You have to get yourself out of the rough on a bad shot. You got to stay level-headed and consistent. And I sold that to Bob, and he looked at me, and he said, okay, we'll go after them then. 
if you think he's because of golfing, let's go after Sam Bradford. <laughs> But that was the magic of Bob. He would listen to you, and he'd, he'd understand your your thinking, and he'd say, hey, if you believe in that, believe in him, let's, let's do it. And the rest is history. You know, I went out. You know, of course, I left. I went on to become the San Diego State head coach, so I didn't get a, coach, a chance to coach Sam. Uh, but just a terrific young guy. I loved recruiting him and his family and ended up being a Heisman Trophy winner and number one overall draft pick. Jose Pisano with a field goal try of 36 yards. It is no good. So the shutout is maintained. Bobby Petrino's squad unable to get on the board. Jose Pisano won the kicking job. He's a junior college transfer. But unable to produce points with 1048 left in this one. And points are, are, are key for Missouri State. You don't ever want to be shut out. And conversely, when you do shut out a team, it's 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 big no matter who you, who it is. It's hard to get a shutout. Chuck, you were a part of a special Oklahoma season in 2000. Right. And this was the game that kind of made you think this team was special. Oklahoma, Texas, Quentin Griffin, what a great Sooner player he was, part of that championship run. Rocky Kalmus with a cast on his hand with a pick six here against the Longhorns. Yeah, it was just a special game. And, and you know, the story is leading up to the game. Uh, we were 5-0 and going into this game. And, but we were an ugly 5-0. and You see Quentin Griffin there. Game number five, we were losing to Kansas at halftime. And uh, we end up winning the game. And usually we're working as a coach till 10, 11, 12 at night. It's Texas week. It's a Sunday before the game. And Bob Stoops comes in, knocks on all of our doors, and says, you guys get out of here. We're going we're gonna to beat the heck out of them. And I'll never forget Mark Mangino, the offensive coordinator at the time, looking up at Bob and said, hey, Bob, are you kidding me? Have you seen us play? We're not very good. Bob says, we're going to beat the heck out of you. You guys go home and get some rest. I remember coming home early, and my wife says, hey, what are you doing home? You're, you guys aren't very good. I said, well, you sent us home early. We're going to beat Texas by, you know, by a big margin. She goes, really? Okay. We go into that game, of course, we, we crush Texas. And we, to this day, uh, we still couldn't figure out how Bob, Bob figured that out and knew what was going to happen. But we knew after that game, Chad, or during that game, we had a good football team. Great catch there by Trayvon West. Yeah, this is uh, Mordecai. Good throw to the outside here. They throw those fade stops very well. They have perfected that throw at Oklahoma. Hard to defend those fade stops. This is Todd Hudson in the game, reversing his field. A flag coming in. Hudson avoiding a tackle. Scampering out of bounds down at the Missouri State 20 yard line. Yeah, Hudson throwing, shaking and baking there. Some nice moves, some quickness. They're emptying their running back depth chart here. Looks like it's coming back. Legal formation, offense, number 70 was not on the line of scrimmage. That penalty is declined. Holding, offense, number 76, 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Still first down. A lot of youngsters in there. Yep, that's what happens. Uh, get some youngsters in there, Chad. You get, get some holdings, get some offsides. There he is pulling, and couldn't really see it there, but... I'm saying you might could let that one go, Chuck. You might let that one go. <laughs> <laughs> Back of their own 47, Mordecai. Good play action. All kinds of time. And there's another seed. Getting out of bounds is Finn Corwin. Is it the Spencer Rattler, Tanner Mordecai, or Finn Corwin show tonight? It is. The, the Finn Corwin show is lighting it up. Great protection by the offensive line. They've been good all night long. You know, these quarterbacks are good in throwing the ball, but that old line's getting, giving those guys some time. They're going to their second, third, even their fourth wide receiver in the progression. 
Bill Biedenboe's Sooners winning the Joe Moore Award for top offensive line in the country after the 2018 season. Starting and stopping. Picking up about seven or eight is West again. You talked about that Texas game in 2000, Chad. We, we had a special game. We put, I think, 63 points on them. And I'll never forget Bob in the third quarter on the headset saying, hey, hey, guys, we're pretty good. <laughs> Usually the coaches don't say that. They'll say, oh, hey, we got a lot of room for improvement. Don't get cocky about it. We got a lot of work ahead. But not him. He just said, hey, we're pretty good. We might have a good se season this year. We Torrance had... Marshall kind of saved it in College Station a oh, few he games did. later, didn't he? He did. A little slip back move from Todd Hudson. Stopped in the backfield. Farron Mahaleleua. We had lightning in the bottle. We didn't have any starter get, miss any uh, games for injury. Nobody got hurt. We had all the right bounces. We made we made things happen as well. It was, it was a special season. The only undefeated season I've ever been a part of as a coach, player, in 45 years of organized football. Sooner second and 10 from the 32. Mordecai up the sideline for Damon Smith. It's behind him. Yeah, that, that looked like confusion there. Mordecai was throwing the fade stop. Smith was rolling up the field for the for the bomb. Mordecai 14 of 16, a touchdown pass and interception. Rattler tonight. 14 of 17 and four touchdown passes. Yeah, the percentage of throwing the ball, and Lincoln Riley really specializes in that. They've been about 70% every year. It's just incredible. Rattler's the first freshman to throw four touchdown passes in his debut. Mordecai, too tall over the middle, nearly intercepted. As that went through the hands of Marcellus Crutchfield, Gerald McCoy's son, and a welcome. There you go. Mordecai didn't really set his feet there. He, he, he threw too early without setting his feet. That's why that, that ball went high on him. There's your rush play percentage. I mean, he's running the football. As you said at the outset, Chad, he's officially been kicked out of the air raid family, and that's why. They're running the ball a lot more percentage-wise than they are throwing it, and that's a good thing because you want balance in your offense. Mordecai steps up. No place to go, and he'll be swallowed up. Right in the middle of that defense. It's Charles Johnson. Big defensive tackle. Yeah, that was a coverage sack. Good coverage down the field allowed Charles Johnson to make that play. Nice coverage in the secondary. 48 nothing Sooners with under seven minutes left in the season opener in Norman. Over 530 yards of total offense. 447 through the air and great debuts. Rattler and Mordecai at quarterback. Yeah, they've had great quarterback play tonight, no doubt, in the passing game. I think when Lincoln Riley, uh, the, the perfectionist that he is, will look back at this game and say, hey, we need, we need to get our run game going a little bit better. Uh, again, he has done a great job of striving for balance in his offense, which enables you to fight for championships when you have run and pass balance. And so looking back, he's going to look, hey, we need to establish that run game a little bit more. But you can't, you know, it's a great night. I mean, it's over 500 yards, and, of course, they're on a shutout pace right now. Great opener for two young quarterbacks, especially Rattler. Second down. Van Dyne has to flee the pocket. Got rid of it before assuming a sack. That's a good throw away. You want to don't, don't take that negative yardage and throw that ball away. Of course, flags down. Tense for grounding. Offense number 10. The quarterback was outside the tackle box. However, the ball did not reach the line of scrimmage. Lost the down, spot of the pass. Third down. Man, that's a, a tough penalty for a quarterback to have to take. Yeah, I thought he was out of the pocket and, and, and why are they calling it, but he, he made the right call because you have to put the ball past the line of scrimmage when you throw it away outside the pocket. And he just didn't, he didn't get enough mustard on it getting past the line of scrimmage. That was a good call. So that creates third and 24 from back at the 22. 
And Dine up in the pocket. Has a little bit of room in the center of the field. Tries to dart past the defender. That was a solid stop made. Yeah, don't take those hits as a quarterback. Learn how to slide. You got a long way to go to get that first down. Don't take those hits, but nice open field tackle. It's Jamal Morris yeah. up to make the play. Yeah, Jamal Morris. Night. They've been doing that all night long. And that is a great sight to see for a defensive coordinator. Again, it's hard to tackle in practice anymore. There's just not enough time to do it. You're trying to keep guys healthy. You have to deal with COVID-19 as well. Don't know how many guys are out there, but just the tackling has gone by the wayside in football because there's just not enough time to do it. Trying to keep everybody healthy and all the new rules against it, practice rules. So that's good to see the open field tackling and overall team tackling by Oklahoma tonight. Sooners will let that one roll down to a halt and take over leading 48 nothing, 546 to play. Forty-eight nothing. Sooners closing out a victory in their opener for 2020. Our play of the game is presented by OU Extended Campus, and this is Rattler to Mims. This is a combination that teams in the Big 12 might have to get used to defending for a few years, Chuck. Oh yeah, it's going to be a nice combination. It was tonight. Two special players, highly recruited out of high school, and you want that combination. To begin tonight because you want them to hang around for a while together a lot of kids go pro early and uh, these days but man it, it worked tonight Arvin Mims tonight one of the stars three catches for 80 yards and that touchdown Rattler has completed two passes of 50 plus tonight only the second sooner freshman quarterback to do that stop and start move and tumbling forward sooner first down to West Trayvon West has had a good second half. Yes, he has. And uh, there's a nice fade, nice, nice uh, throw. We have a new quarterback in there. Chandler Morris, who the Sooners are super excited to have gotten. Yep. Son of Chad. And they really like the progress he's made. Yeah, he, he made a nice fade stop throw to the outside. These quarterbacks can really throw that fade stop well. Slowly up the middle goes Todd Hudson. Five minutes left. Lucas Eatman, the stop from Missouri State. Talked about the Sooner schedule. Missouri State, teams in the Missouri Valley Conference were given the option to play non-conference games. Their conference schedule is going to happen in the spring as it stands now. And so Missouri State will play this one, and then they'll play a home-and-home -home with Central Arkansas. Three games in the fall, and then the rest of the next spring. And that's... Again, that's not easy to manage. Morris, all day to throw. He might run out the final five minutes back there. <laughs> He's got some speed, though. Morris he sure does. up the right sideline. Did that surprise you how Morris quickly he got out of there? Man, I like his style here. He is Chandler Morris. Threw a nice fade stop, showing his legs there. Had plenty of time to throw the ball. Stood in the pocket there. Don't get antsy. Like to see that in the young man. Does a nice job not making a mistake. All right. Let's get some yards with my legs here. I can run it. QBU. QBU is right. They just keep producing them. And they have sent the message. If you want to be a successful quarterback, have a shot to play at the next level. Norman is the place to come. It is. The 70s and 80s at Oklahoma, the run, it was running back you. It was all about the running back and Joe the Washington, wishbone. Billy Sims. Sims and Washington and those guys. Now it's transformed all the way to quarterback you. Bob Stoops brought in that air raid. Everybody in Oklahoma thought he was crazy. Bring that wishbone back. <laughs> Turned out okay, hadn't it? Been all right. And then Lincoln's taking it to a new level. This is a second and five. Slipping out of a tackle is Hudson. Still piling up the yards. That's why the crowd stays and watches. They want to see the young guys, see what they can do. And here's Hudson. 
Great effort here. Just a little inside zone. And they had a guy right there for him on a, on a corner blitz. Look at the leg drive. Can't get him down. That's why you get in that squat rack. That's right. Six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock in the morning. Put 600 on here and I'll tell you when I'm done. <laughs> Hudson pick up the Sooner first down to the 22 yard line this is so great these are the players you have to have in your program some yep. of them will be scout teams developmental guys and for them to get a chance to shine is special it is and it gives them a chance to play and if I was college football and rules this year with, with the COVID-19 pandemic and you have to manage that just let anybody play at any time all year long and worry about red shirt and later mm -hmm. do that next year again just let guys play this year but you like those young guys to get in there and fans are hanging around to see what they have Morris on first down hands to Hudson again cannot escape to the sideline this time this be pulled down by Breon Dixon he played at Ole Miss in 2017, at Nebraska in 2018. And now in 2020, Breon Dixon is a Missouri State Bear. Barring some kind of freak play, it's going to be a shutout for, for Oklahoma tonight. Again, mm -hmm. that's, that's hard to do. Is that like calling a no-hitter in the bottom yeah, of the eighth? Yeah. <laughs> Minute 15 left. Chandler Morris, plenty of time once again. Well, he's sure taking his time. Great pass protection. He gets fast. Chandler Woo! Morris digging his way all the way down to the 15-yard line. Boy, that's the exclamation point on how that offensive line is played. Yeah, he's doing a nice job. Look, look at the offensive line. Look at all the time he has. Just looking around, looking around. Now, he's not not reading coverage very well right now, but he's, he's not making mistakes either. And there's the slide. Be smart. Don't take that hit. This Morgan, I, I put him around the formation a little bit. Put him at wide receiver, maybe a little running back. Oklahoma's last shutout was at Kansas State in 2015. They're 30 seconds away from pulling one off in the opener of 2020. Morris slinging it left. West dropped inside the five, but denied the touchdown. I like the way he's throwing the ball too, just setting his feet and throwing a strike on a curl route. Probably gonna get a kneel down here. Damon Smith just out. shy. Yep. Sooners are gonna let time run out on a successful 48-0 season opening win. A season we wondered would happen. And Oklahoma and Lincoln Riley were ready for the task. A pair of Big 12 teams lost today, but not the Sooners. Not on this night. As Bobby Petrino and Lincoln Riley find one another for a postgame handshake. Well, we got to the starting line, Chad. And that's, what, that's key to any game this year, dealing with the pandemic. And as you mentioned, Lincoln, as well as Bobby Petrino, managed both their teams to get to this point. And that's been a, going to be a challenge all year long for head coaches. A good win for Oklahoma. And, of course, uh, Spencer Rattler, what a debut. He's our player of the game presented by Pizza Hut. He showed the arsenal tonight, Chuck. Take us through some of these throws. He did. He made, he made all the throws tonight. Very impressed. Made the sideline throws. He made the deep post route throws right here on the money. And he kept the receivers in stride, especially on the crossing route here. To Rambo, I mean, kept keeping those guys in stride after the catch is big because you want those yak yard, you want that yak yards, that yards after the catch. Four touchdown passes and a couple more that were dropped and resulted in field goals. Spencer Rattler, what a starting quarterback debut for him. Let's send it down to the field in CT. All right, guys, here with Lincoln Riley. Not as loud as the last time we tried to talk. Coach, uh, congratulations, a big victory tonight. It's always about improving, though, and getting better. How do you think your team can go forward from here and learn? Yeah, we're going to have to take a lot of steps. You know, there were some exciting things from game one, but there's also a ton that we're, we're no doubt we're going to have to improve on. So it's uh, 
you're always happy about wins. Uh, proud of a lot of guys that stepped up today. And uh, but obviously, you know, this is just game one. It's a long stretch, long season, and the best teams, the championship championship teams, continue to get better. The defense pitches a shutout. How would you assess their performance tonight? Really good, really good. Uh, you know, covered well. We got pressure. Did a good job against the run. Uh, it's hard to shut out teams in college football, so I, I, that was important for us and our speed D to get that. Spencer at the quarterback position, coach. He's so fluid out there. How can he get better as this season progresses? Oh, uh, it's it's just one game. You know, I mean, that's every game's its own deal. He's going to continue to see new challenges as we go through. So. You know, a good start, but a lot for him to improve on, just like the rest of our team. Coach, thanks for the time. Right, we appreciate thank you. it. Appreciate it. Yep. Lincoln Riley debuts with a win, his 37th as head coach at University of Oklahoma. The 2018 Big 12 Conference Co-Coach of the Year in the first step toward a potential fourth consecutive trip to the college football playoff. CT has more from down on the field. Yeah, guys, down here on the field with another standout player tonight. How about this performance? How would you assess it? Um, I feel like the team all together came out and, you know, got after it. It was good to, you know, actually go against somebody else despite all the things that we've been going through. Um, you know, always good to, to see our, our team be able to comp compete against somebody else. You know, we always recoup good, so, you know, we have some great players and things like that. So I was excited to see, you know, what the young guys can do and also just see the team perform as a whole. Yeah, Delirian, how would you assess just the ability to play football tonight? It's been such a challenge to get here. How fun was it just to run on the field and have a chance to compete? Right. Um, it's always exciting to play football, but like I just said, uh, with the things we've been going through, all the things off the field, it was really a blessing to be able to come out here and compete with the team, and I was just happy to be able to do that. Where can this team improve going forward? Um, I just feel like if we focus on the little things, you know, you know, as far as like penalties, uh, you know, things in coverage, or, you know, even a running back, the way they hold the ball and things like that, if we can just fix the little things, you know, the team will improve at a high level. Congratulations on a big team victory. Enjoy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, Chad, back to you. Delaria Turner Yell had an interception tonight. The Sooners had four quarterback hurries, three sacks, eight tackles for loss. And Alex Grinch's defense, Chuck, allowed just 135 total yards. And the shutout. And anytime you play any team and shut them out, that's that's big. And this laid out perfectly for Oklahoma tonight. You had a great play from your quarterback and Spencer Rattler in his debut. And then defensively, they got the shutout to give them some confidence on that side of the ball. But it just laid out perfectly. I know Lincoln's going to look at it and say, hey, we need some, we got to improve here and there. I think the run game itself on offense they need to improve on uh, as the season unfolds but man what a solid victory tonight Sooners have a bye next week they will host Kansas State on September the 26th at the Palace on the Prairie a season so long in the making it's a rival much anticipated and Oklahoma did not disappoint Spencer Rattler 14 of 17 passing Four touchdown passes in his Sooner starting quarterback debut, and Charleston Rambo and the wide receivers had themselves an eye as well. It's an Oklahoma win, 48 to nothing for C.T. Steckel down on the field. For my partner Chuck Long and our entire Fox Sports crew, I'm Chad McKee saying good night from Norman, Oklahoma.